Hi friends, I'm Dave Barklow, pastor of Fort Walton Beach First United Methodist. Welcome to the Pastor's Study, our daily devotional that helps us think about the things of God. We're looking at several of Jesus's parables, and today we're going to talk about uh, the parable of the of the hired workers, as often called, or the parable of the landowner. Uh, and um, it's a very, very interesting parable. It really, in some ways, kind of offends us in some ways. And let me read it to you. It's from Matthew chapter 20, verses 1 through 15. Jesus said, For the kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with the laborers for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. When he went out at about nine o'clock, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace and said to them, You also go into the vineyard, and I will pay you whatever is right. So they went. When he went out again at about noon and about three o'clock, he did the same. And about five o'clock, he went out and found others standing around. And he said to them, Why are you standing idle all day? Be they said to him, Because no one has hired us. He said to them, You also go into the vineyard. When evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his manager, Call the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and then going to the first. When those hired at about five o'clock came, each of them received the usual daily wage. Now then, when the first came, they thought that they would receive more, but each of them also received the usual daily wage. And when they received it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, These last worked only one hour, and you have made them equal to us who have borne the burden of the day and the scorching heat. But he replied to them, Friend, I am doing you no wrong. Did I not agree? Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what belongs to you and go. I chose to give to the last the same I give to you. Am I not allowed to do what I choose with what belongs to me? Or are you envious? because I am generous. This, uh, this parable is about grace. This parable is about the fact that we don't get from God what we deserve. Uh, this is about the fact that, that no matter when we come to faith in Jesus Christ, um, that, that salvation is offered to us, whether we were born into the church and accepted Jesus in vacation Bible school, it was confirmed and grew up and lived long lives uh, believing in Christ, or whether it was someone who came to know Christ on their deathbed, deathbed conversion or someone who was in their uh someone who was older before they really began to believe as they face their own mortality god says the wage is the same salvation is the same uh, dr callis though in his book uh parables from the backside he has an interesting take on this um he says that instead of the first uh that were hired being jealous uh, for not getting uh for not getting more than agreed than agreed upon because those who were hired last got, got what they had agreed upon. He says those who were hired first really did get more. They got the knowledge of being involved in the work for longer. They reaped the benefits of being part of, of the, the harvest longer than those at the end. That just being employed is in itself a good, something that is good for us. That Dr. Callis basically says, doing God's work for our entire life, that in itself is beneficial. That there's benefit to that. We don't need to be worried that those who are saved later get salvation as well. We have received already by being part of God's labor. He says this, when I stand before the great landowner as he passes out silver pieces of eternity, I might well take mine and say, give part of it to that poor soul who didn't come to faith in Christ until he was 60 years old. And to that woman who became a believer only when she was dying. I've been employed all my days and have been blessed by, by a purpose, even by communion with God. Give them part of my reward because they stood in the marketplace for so long because no one hired them while my life was filled with purpose. Friends, let's let our lives be filled with purpose. We are the laborers in the vineyard. Let us be about inviting others into this work no matter when they may come. Remember, I love you, take care of yourselves, and shine the light of Christ.